In 1928, Scottish microbiologist Alexander Fleming went on a holiday. Before that, however, he was working with Staphylococcus bacteria in his laboratory and he accidentally left the petri dish with bacteria uncovered which allowed for mold to take root and begin its growth so when he returned he was curious enough to take a peek. What he saw, however, was about to change the world. See, he noticed that the mold in petri dish inhibited the growth of bacteria which left him puzzled so after some testing he isolated the mold and identified it as penicillin. Penicillium notatum, what he named the substance produced by it penicillin. When he shared his findings with his colleagues at the Medical Research Club, it received little attention, so he enlisted help from prominent chemists to help him isolate and produce penicillin in large quantities, which did not work out. It wasn't until years after when Howard Florey and Ernst Chain discovered his research and gathered another team for a project penicillin that with a lot of difficulties finally yielded a significant result that a few years later enabled the mass production. It is estimated that around 100,000 Allied soldiers in Europe alone benefited from penicillin from D-Day till German surrender. 